Minus 25. Minus 20. Minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, fire. We have ignition of NASA's Space Launch System five segment Plus solid five. rocket booster. Plus 10. Activate head in CO2. CO2 activated. Activate quench tool command forward and ask CO2. Activated. Plus 165 seconds. High speed data operator stop recording. The full two minute test has concluded. High speed recording. Now the carbon complete. dioxide Roger. quench arm operator. pumps 31 tons of CO2 into the booster. The carbon dioxide quenches any burning of the insulation without damaging it to preserve the state it was in during the test. This allows the team to get the best data about how it will perform in flight. There's quite a bit of action remaining for the teams here as they ensure the test area is safe and the data are recorded. Following motor burnout, the chamber will be sprayed with 2,300 gallons of water per minute on the underside of the case to help cool it down. This will cool the chamber from 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Avionics engineer, verify that the Celestic has finished saving the log files. In work. Roger. Red line monitor operator, transfer the log file to the local computer. Roger, in work. Roger, bus monitor operator, transfer the data files to the local computer. In work. T plus four minutes. Redline monitor files have been transferred to the computer. Roger.
let's go back out to Bill, where he's standing by for first reactions from those who were outside watching the test. Thanks very much, Stephanie. Yeah, two minutes of excitement and exhilaration followed by jubilation from the crowd as well as uh, some of the gentlemen who helped make this happen. I'm joined by uh, Alex Priscos. He is the uh, SLS booster manager at the Marshall Space Flight Center and, of course, rejoined by Orbital ATK's Charlie Precourt. Uh, Charlie, let me quick start with you. Everything seemed to go well, and uh, how do you think it looked? It looked really clean. We're very excited. It's a great result. You could feel the, the pressure coming off the motor. You could see the plume and watch the vectoring. It all looked great. We'll be looking for the quick lift data, but really nice result. I think what was exciting, and I haven't been to one of these in a couple of years, so it was really exciting to see is, is you've got that initial pause when, the, when everything loads, you see all the smoke and the fire, and then suddenly that sound wave hits you. Great little science demonstration for the speed of light, the speed of sound, you know, the little delay, and then the noise hits you. Really pretty neat. I know that you and your crew are far from finished. What what do you immediately is your crew doing up there right now? So we're making sure all the systems are shut down. You know, we had hydraulic power units running and so forth. All of that post-fire stuff begins. Uh, we got quenching going on. There's a lot of water systems up there cooling the belly of the booster because a lot of the residual um, materials in there that are so hot, that plume was 5,000 degrees. A lot of that hot stuff is laying in the belly of the booster, so we got cooling uh water jets cooling off the belly of the booster so that it doesn't get too hot and then uh over time we'll be able to go up and take a look and the dissection will begin and all the data will start to flow and we'll be looking for qualification and if i'm not mistaken a lot of that hardware can be reused right absolutely all of this stuff will get uh, recycled and used in either another test or maybe in flight Thanks very much, Charlie. Let me turn now to Alex Priscos, once again with the SLS program out of the Marshall Space Flight Center. You look like a happy man. I am very happy this morning. <laughs> Great test. Uh, just, just a fantastic result. Uh, you used a stopwatch. We haven't seen the pre real preliminary data, but we get a little bit with just a watch, and this thing was about as perfect and nominal as, as we, it could be. We were looking for a two-minute firing time, and, and that's what we got. So... It, it's great. I, I'd like to thank uh, Orbital ATK and the NASA team for all they've done to get us here. It's been just a fantastic effort on everybody's part. So uh, let me ask you, I know you've got a lot of your team here as well as you've met some of the folks from Orbital ATK as well as some of our NASA social media uh, uh, visitors. What has been some of the reaction from some of them about being here and then seeing something like that? I saw lots of handshaking on your way up here. You know, the enthusiasm uh, that, that you get in a test like this is just incredible. It, it shows what, what these kind of tests mean to everybody that, that literally spend years and years and, and hours and hours and hours every, every week uh, working on it, as, as well as those uh, that, that just show an extreme amount of interest. And to watch the momentum and the interest build in this program has absolutely been fantastic, and it has really, really built uh, consistently the last uh, several months. So what's next for the booster team in the short term? So, so in the short term, we'll look at this data. We, we, we will look at it on several levels. We'll, we'll get our first pre-look at the data in, in probably about an hour, but we'll continue to dissect and go deeper and deeper into data for several months. M meanwhile, we will be preparing uh, qualification motor number two, which is our second qual test, which will be a cold test to understand the performance in, in a cold condition. And that will probably happen early next year. So what are some of the finer points of the data that you're going to be looking for? Uh, pressure time curve, which really gives us a sense of power and, and when it happens and how much. We'll be looking at the erosion of the insulator, which tells us how much margin we have thermally in, in the system. And we'll be looking at uh, nozzle erosion. Uh, th those are just three. Th there's several hundred parameters, but those are the three that, that, that we'll, we'll be looking at very, very hard and very quickly. All right, excellent. Well, thanks once again very much to, to the both of you. Uh, congratulations on a successful test, and, and I know a lot of us, I speak for many of us out here, who are just glad we could have been here to be a part of it. Uh, once again, Charlie Precourt with Orbital ATK, Alex Priscos from the SLS Booster Program. So, gentlemen, uh, we're going to take, before we head back inside for, to Stephanie for a few last words, let's take a look at some of the replays of the test we just saw. We have ignition of NASA's Space Launch System 5-segment solid rocket booster. 